guys, it's Lana. I'm here today with my favourite everyday hairstyles that are just really, really easy to wear. We're going to try to like manipulate our hair as little as possible and then that way the curls stay for longer and they don't get all messed up. I'm just going to run through a whole bunch of styles. So we're not manipulating our hair too much. We don't want to use any brushes and we want to preserve our curls as much as we can for the next few days. So all I'm doing is flipping my hair all over to one side and adding a bobby pin on this side. It's really easy and we didn't mess up the curls and that's the final look. For the next look, I'm just going to take a few small pieces of hair down by my ears and I'm just going to bobby pin those at the back of my head. This way we don't really mess with the rest of our hair too much. You can twist those bits and it doesn't matter too much because you don't really see those bits of hair at any other time. So if you just twist those around and take them to the back of your head and secure it with a bobby pin and just make sure you're happy with the bits framing your face. And then add something pretty like a bow if you want to. So I've just got this clip here and I'm just going to add it in there. And that's the final look. And then I'm just going to take all that out. And then for the next look, we're kind of going to do like a half up, half down. But you just need to take the front of your hair and just the crown really so not a full half up half down and we're just going to secure that nice and high with this silk scrunchie that I got from Amazon and that gives you a really voluminous voluminous look <laughs> nice big fluffy hair and it was so easy to do kind of just makes you look like you did something with your hair that day okay for the next look is an updo and just take all your hair up and take some bits to frame your face you can take it all to one side you can part it in the middle it really doesn't matter and then with the part that you've taken up just split it in half like a half up half down hairstyle secure the top half with a scrunchie i only tied it around twice because i didn't want to tie it too tight and then secure the bottom half and we're going to give the illusion of a really long ponytail by doing this. If you want to make sure that the top half stays really high then just add a clip there. And there we go, a really long looking ponytail. And you can change that look up a bit just by taking your fringe up. For the next look, we're just going to take our fringe away, so I'm just going to twist my fringe really and take down some bits to frame my face. And then I'm going to tuck it under, rather than tucking it over, I'm just going to tuck it under the rest of my hair like that. Because I like it better like that. And that's that look. And you can change that up a bit as well, just by what you do with your fringe. So you might want to just take that back like that. Or you can twist it and sort of push it forward to make a little bump and then we've made a little quiff here and we can just secure that with a bobby pin and that's another look. And maybe you don't feel like having all of your hair being all around you all day, being all fluffy and bouncy and making things hot and stuffy. So you can take it all down to one side in a nice cute little ponytail. Just leaving your fringe and some bits to frame your face. And that's the final look. And then for this look, we are just sort of taking away the front parts, just the out of our face. Because I know it can be quite annoying when you're trying to get schoolwork done or something like that. And your hair keeps falling in your face. And you just keep sweeping it out of your face. So... With this look, you're just going to do a twist. I'm doing a twist, but you can do a French braid. Anything that's just going to make sure that your hair stays out of your face. And we're going to do the same on the other side. 
this twist came out better. I don't know why. <laughs> And we're going to secure that as well and that's that final look it looks really clean and sensible with the next look i'm just using this headband but you can just use a flower crown or a scarf and just arrange that and it looks quite pretty and then for this look i'm not sure why but my camera just stopped filming while i was doing it or something all i did was just split my hair in half and then twist it it's really easy it's easier than a braid you literally just twist the two pieces of hair around each other it disturbs the hair less than a braid would so when you take it out your hair will still be curly and yeah so when i finished filming i did put my hair in a bun but who doesn't love a bun Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Bye.